Okay, this is a show about nothing. Absolutely nothing. downtown Atlanta doing one of my favorite things in life and that's people watching <laughs> you never know what kind of strange scenes you're gonna see or strange people you're gonna meet it's a whole different world here downtown Atlanta I'm glad you guys are here with me from Czech Republic, I'm Martin, he's Mirek, and we're watching adventures and trucking with Indiana Jack. Alright, I got work to do. I gotta move this trailer down to the yard and move that one up here because we got a guy that's coming to pick it up so let's get that done real quick before the driver gets here all right we got this one unhooked let's go up and get the other one This is the one we're getting. Just had a fresh inspection done on it. So let's get it hooked up and brought up there to the yard. Yeah, I'm still doing this. I don't miss doing this. All right, since it just had a clean inspection, I'm gonna uh, check the lights and stuff myself just to make sure everything's working right. Not that I don't trust mechanics, but... All right, good deal. All the lights work. Tires are all good, brakes are good. Let's get it moved. All right, now we're hooked up here. And we're just gonna loop around and back up right into there. That's where we started out. So let's get her done. Now let's unhook and get this tractor uh, moved over there and we'll be good to go.
just a real quick message here. I'm never going to stop talking about DAT. That's DAT Solutions, my favorite software. If you're a truck driver, an owner operator, if you're a business owner, a broker, put your loads on DAT. Everyone looks at DAT. Everyone that is in the trucking industry, it's the oldest software that everyone's been using for years and years. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of loads on there. 30 days free if you click the link below. Just to update you, I have a new driver that started today and uh, I'm taking him down to get a couple hundred dollars worth of fuel and then we're gonna set him off on his maiden journey here, maiden voyage actually, and really a nice driver so we wish him the best but we're gonna go to uh, Flying J and get that done. Get him some fuel. Get him rolling. He's taking one over to Memphis. Don't tell anybody, but I kind of wish I was going. Yes, I do. I do miss trucking. So let's get up here to the Flying J and get him some fuel. Okay, we got the new guy, got him $200 worth of fuel, just until we can get his fuel card turned on. Kind of like pushing him out of the nest. But let's get back to the office, a lot's happening. And uh, it seems like it never stops, it's just ongoing. Boom, boom, boom. This might be the most odd thing you've ever seen me do. I have here a bucket of coins that I'm going to turn in and uh, get some money for. And uh, hopefully it'll be a lot of money. We'll see. Back in the olden days, every year I'd save up coins in one of those old uh, sparklets bottles. For those of you who are from Southern California, you remember sparklets? They probably still have it, but these days everything's arrowhead water in California, but sparklets was big back then. Anyway, I had one of those big water bottles. I'd put coins in it every day, save them up, and then at the end of the year I'd cash it in just like this. And I'd have a thousand dollars or so and that's how I went on vacation in the summer. Every summer I'd go visit my brother and his kids in Florida and that's how I did that. So there are more efficient ways to cash in your coins because they take 11% on that. But I don't want to sit there and roll out coins and, and do all that. So this is just easiest. So anyway, that's a little adventure. What do you do with your coins? I'd love to hear what a normal person does with their coins as opposed to an abnormal person. So let's move on to the next segment. Well, we're here in the office and these coins, uh, that machine rejects coins but for one reason or another. Kind of interesting, here's what it re, uh, rejected, an old quarter and I think a Canadian coin and then a uh, beat up any. So uh, those I'll just have to pass on to someone else or throw away the Canadian coin. It has no value to me.
All right, let's now unhook the thing and the loop.